While medical tube misconnections are rare, they can be damaging and even life-threatening. A joint effort by the International Organization for Standardization, ISO, to prevent wrong route delivery of fluids and gases is currently ongoing. The overall objective is to specify designs of small bore connectors for various clinical applications in order to reduce the likelihood of tubing misconnections. The ISO 803693 is expected to be published as an ISO standard by mid-2015 and will be called NFIT. This video will explain the transition from Nutricia's current enteral feeding system using mainly NLOC sets and tubes to the NFIT enteral feeding system. Nutricia's priority is to avoid customer disruption as much as possible and ensure a smooth transition to the new NFIT standard. Currently, Nutricia's tubes and sets use the NLOC system with compatible male and female ends that connect directly. The NFIT feeding set will have a female end that will not connect directly to the female NLOC connector on the feeding tube. To overcome this, Nutricia will supply our NFIT feeding sets with a pre-assembled male transition connector, allowing the set to be connected to the female end of the existing NLOC feeding tube. The adapter can also be used to flush an NLOC tube with a new NFIT syringe. This transition system will be in place until the male end fit feeding tubes become available and the connection will once again be direct. There will also be a change to the med port connection. Currently, NLOC lure and oral syringes can be connected directly to the NLOC med port. These syringes will not fit into the male end of the end fit med port. To overcome this, Nutricia will supply a pre-assembled female transition connector with NFIT med ports. This female transition connector will permit male NLOC lure and oral syringes to be connected to the NFIT med port. The adapter can also be used to flush an NFIT tube with an NLOC oral or lure syringe. This transition system will be used until the NFIT enteral syringe is launched, at which point the connection will once again be direct. Nutricia, in connection with other leading manufacturers, suppliers and distributors from around the world, will follow a transition plan for the introduction of the NFIT system. The transition plan is anticipated to take 12 months and is expected in Europe, the Middle East, Africa, Australia and New Zealand. From late quarter 3, 2015, feeding sets with the new NFIT connectors will be available. These feeding sets will have NFIT transition connectors on the medication port and on the patient end. Entral specific syringes with the NFIT connector will also be available. From quarter 1, 2016, entral feeding tubes with the NFIT connector will become available. Nutricia anticipate a 12-month transition period. From late quarter 3, 2016, end-fit feeding sets without transition connectors will gradually replace the transition sets. Loose transition connectors will be available for a certain period after the transition. Launch timing may be subject to CE mark and other regulatory approval. Please check with your local representative to confirm precise timing and product availability. Nutricia is fully committed to introducing the NFIT system, enhancing patient safety with minimal customer disruption. For more information about the transition to the new NFIT standard, country-specific timelines and other supporting tools, please visit the Nutricia FlowCare website or contact your local office or representative. This initiative is founded by leading manufacturers around the world in the field of enteral devices to facilitate the communication around the introduction of the new standard while minimizing the disruption to customers and patients. Additional information about ISO 803693 as well as practical information around the new standard can be found at this website address.